Hi guys, today we are going to cover a famous case law of the constitutional law that is Jaya Bachchan versus Union of India. In this case, the petitioner who is a member of the parliament filed a writ petition under Article 32 of the Constitution of India challenging the order dated on 16th of March 2006 of the Honorable President of India whereby in exercise of powers conferred under Clause 1 of the Article 103 of the Constitution of India. The Honorable President has decided after in consultation with the Election Commission as required by Article 103, Clause 2, that the petitioner stands disqualified for being a member of the Rajya Sabha. The challenge is also to the opinion dated on 2nd of March 2006 rendered by the Election Commission to the Honorable President under Clause 2 of the Article 103 that the petitioner became disqualified under Article 102 Clause 1 Subclause A of the Constitution for being a member of the Rajya Sabha on from 14th of July 2004 on her appointment by the government of Uttar Pradesh as chairperson of the UP Film Development Council. The office carried with it with a monthly allowance of rupees 5000 per month as honorarium, entertainment expenditure of 10,000 per month, 600 rupees per day within the state and 750 rupees outside the state, staff car with driver, telephone at office and residence, one personal assistant and two class 4 employees, bo bodyguard and night escort, free accommodation and medical treatment, facilities to her and her family members, free accommodation in government circuit house or guest house and hospitality while on tour. The petitioner contends that the post of chairperson of the council and the conferment of the rank of cabinet minister were only decorative, that she did not receive any monetary benefits from the state government. She did not seek any residential accommodation nor use telephone or medical facilities. Though she travelled several times for her work purpose as a chairperson, but she never claimed any reimbursement and that she had accepted the chairpersonship of the council honorarily. However, she did not avail any benefits attached to it. Therefore, her disqualification was inva invalid since she did not enjoy any of these benefits from the state government of Uttar Pradesh. Decision. The fact that the petitioner was affluent or was not interested in the benefits, facilities given by the state government or did not receive such benefits till date were not relevant to the issue. Therefore, the disqualification was valid and proper. The question whether the petitioner actually received any pecuniary gain or not is not the criteria. The Honorable Supreme Court found no merit in the writ petition and the same was dismissed. Thank you for watching and guys please do like, share and subscribe to the channel.